At around 12.20 p.m., the bus carrying all the bishops emerged from St. Paul Cathedral in Mirembe. And one by one from the bus, the men of God assembled at the residence of the outgoing archbishop to promulgate the good news, which perhaps was not new to them, but more so to the rest of the Anglican church faithfuls in Uganda and beyond. It gives me great pleasure to announce and to present to you the Archbishop-elect of the Church of Uganda, the Right Reverend Stanley Ntaba. After vote cast by 35 bishops from 36 dioceses in the Church of Uganda, the Right Reverend Stanley Ntagalu has been serving as a bishop for Masindi Chitara Diocese. For eight years was announced the new Archbishop of Church of Uganda. He will be taking over from Bishop Henry Luke Orombi, a man who consecrated him. The first phase of our prayer is answered. <laughs> Outgoing Archbishop Henry Luke Orombi, who chose to retire after serving for only nine years, says the elections were free and fairly done, as opposed to the previous ones, which were characterized by conflict. The temperature in the province is cool and nice. God has been in control of it all. God is the glory. Born in Dora County in Kabale District in 1955, Ntagali became born again at the age of 19 and has since lived away from his homeland, which according to his colleagues gives him the experience to work with people of different walks of life. But as he soldiers on, NTV sought to know from Stanley his plans in relation to the current political temperatures in the country. We always encourage parliamentarians to represent us in parliament and be good legislators. The new Archbishop-elect has been given a mantle by the outgoing Archbishop of Uganda to lead the church into the better days. But he's coming at a time when there is a standoff between the Provincial Church of Uganda and the Western Church, which seeks to promote gay rights. So will Stanley stand the pressure? I'll continue to be honest to the Bible and to keep the, tradition of, the traditions of the church. Stanley's Christian career began when he was a teacher in Wambabia Primary School and later spent two years as a missionary in Karamoja Diocese. He did theological training at Bishop Taka Theological School, St. Paul Theological College, Limuru, Kenya, and the Oxford Center for Mission Studies in the UK. The 57-year-old Archbishop-elect comes at a time when the people's expectations are very high, when many youths are leaving Church of Uganda to join born-again churches. The Archbishop-elect Stanley Ntagali will be the eighth Archbishop of Uganda and is expected to be enthroned on the 16th of December by the Dean of the Province at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe. <laughs> According to the Church of Uganda Constitution, for one to become an Archbishop, he must be serving as a Bishop and should be at least 50 years but cannot serve the Church beyond 65 years. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.